Good morning, guys. Kopi Mana Kopi, everybody. I got my Ghostbusters mug again. <laughs> um, also, Yoda FSU, because I went to Florida State. So my birthday's tomorrow. I'm really excited. Um, we got a fun day planned. So I'm going to do a video for today and for tomorrow, just because I'm having fun with it. And today, since I'm a saxophone player, I wanted to listen to something that relates to me more. So, and I hope you guys like it too. It's for you guys too. Um, I'm listening to Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie, Hot House. And this was on uh, Dumont Television in 1952. So I'm super excited to see this. I never have, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's about five minutes long, almost six minutes. So I'm super excited. I, I never saw him really live. Um, and all his videos on YouTube are just pictures of him playing because, you know. Um, but anyway, Charlie Parker's an amazing saxophonist. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but he practiced like eight hours a day, nine hours a day. I did that in college and it's really tiring. But um, anyway, he actually had to get kicked out of neighborhoods because he played so much and it annoyed his neighbors, I guess. Although I would have been like, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Teach me to play. Um, but anyways... Uh, so yeah, that's just a little bit of history on Charlie Parker. I took history of jazz in college, and I still remember that lecture to to this day. <laughs> so shout out to Mr. Rupert, Professor Rupert. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie. Here we go, guys. And here he is, Mr. Leonard Bennett. Come on, Leonard, my boy. Yeah. Leonard Bennett. Well, let's uh, listen to quite an occasion, isn't it? Listen, uh, what do I do about the, do I uh, say, give me five or uh, give me oh. some scanners, that stuff out of date? Well, that changes so fast, I'll have to look at my next issue zombie to find out about it. Anyway, you got the awards, and it's, it's right. really quite an event. Well, it's quite an event, uh, in two senses, actually, oh, because, you know, in the music business, we've been practicing brotherhood for quite a long time. Yeah. Man's color and his religion don't make any difference when you put a horn in his hands. The only thing that counts is his talent. Well, I think that's uh, the uh, thing about the Down Beach All-American Band. It makes it All-American because it's a different creeds and different mm -hmm. uh, races. I believe that's right. Well, how about it? Who, uh, what, how are we going to get rid of these now? That well, uh, I've been used to doing this for quite a while. Maybe it'd be a nice change if I turn it over to you let you do the honors. I'd right? love to. I'd love okay, to. Well, Charlie, you. Dizzy. <coughs> well, mm. here they are. Hello, this girl. is Charlie Parker and the famous Dizzy Gillespie. Now, fellas, uh, Leonard says I'm supposed to be the Toastmaster, the sort of the Georgie Jessel Jazz. So, Charlie, I want to award you now uh, the downbeat award for the best alto sax man of 1951. Thank Congratulations you, to you. Thank you. And, uh, Diz, this is to you from downbeat for being one of the top trumpet men of all time. Thank you. Congratulations, Diz. I mean, Dizzy, I got a little informal there. You. Uh, you boys got anything more to say? Well, Earl, they say music speaks louder than words, so we'd rather voice our opinion that way, if you don't uh, mind. I think that'd be all right with everybody if you really want to do it. Good. Okay, now, while you fellows are getting us up there, I better tell the public that uh, we're going to have some really torrid tempo with Charlie Parker, the alto sax, and uh, Diz at the uh, trumpet, and Dick Hyman's at the piano. They're going to play, what is it? I think it's Hot House. Hot House? Okay, fellas, let's go.
Parker and Disney Gillespie, ladies and gentlemen, and Hot House. He really, really inspires me to keep playing and practicing. And of course, I, I mean, I always do anyway. So, but how about those chords? So he's got the E minor seven, A seven, D six chords going. Um, very beautiful chord progressions. And he's got the B minor seven, E minor, A minor again. Um, a major actually six. Um, but anyways, I'm super, like, he's just amazing. And him and Dizzy going back and forth on the solos and everything. Oh my gosh. And some of those runs where they, where they add the accidentals and everything in there too. They're just amazing, amazing. He goes so super fast with it. He really does. Like, it, it's just really amazes me. And I don't think anyone, like, I tell my students, I have the Omni book, um, as a teacher because I teach it to my, my kids, um, and adult students. Um, but anyways... So this is a Charlie Parker Omni book. So it's got most of the songs in there. It does not have Hot House, however. Um, but a lot of the chord progressions are the same that he uses. So um, not everything, though. But um, so some of the tempos are actually at 340. And I tell my students, don't worry about that. I said, most people can't play at 340. So like, for example, Bird Gets the Worm. This one's really cool. Um, but how about those runs that he and Dizzy were going back and forth? And oh my gosh, Dizzy's amazing, too. Of course, he was in a different key. He was in the key of B flat. Or well, not the key of B flat, but his trumpet is in B flat. So he wasn't playing a di different key. And then just the fact that they could do that without music, I mean, just shows how much they play, obviously. Um, very professional. And I, lo I loved how humble they were in the beginning, too. And he said, well, we speak better with music, so we're going to talk in music. And that's how I feel, too. <laughs> that's how I feel with music. And I want to show that to you guys, you know, because I feel, I, I feel like I speak in musical terms. So... But anyways, uh, what an amazing performer, though, with how fast he goes. And um, he does some beautiful ballads, too, actually. But um, just the tempo of everything and then the syncopation. Um, oh, my gosh, so much syncopation. And his pieces are really hard. I mean, I remember struggling learning his pieces in college, you know, like it's, it's not easy. So you got to practice them a lot. <laughs> That's just a D minor, um, D minor arpeggiated kind of, so it's kind of cool. Um, and he just uses stuff like that, you know, um, like G minor. I messed up there a second, but anyway, that's a G minor, um, G minor run there. And that was in Bird Gets the Worm. So he uses his scales a lot, really, he does. Um, that's a D minor again. And that would be a D7 flat nine. So he, he gets really crazy. That's a bird gets the worm. I wish I had the music for Hot House, but I don't. Although I think it's on YouTube. Um, but people are playing with it. So, <laughs> I mean, people are playing in the video, I think, but anyways, I haven't heard hot house in forever and I never saw the video of that. So that was really, really cool. Um, but I did know the piece because, you know, I've heard it. Um, I've, I've just heard it from the CD. So, but it, it's been a long, long time. So that, you know, it's kind of a first reaction because, um, you know, it's been a long time since I heard it. Oh, this chord is fun. <laughs> That would be an F chord going to G minor, C7, so. That's just me improving. That's just me going up and down scales. So obviously scales are important in jazz. I tell my students that they don't always believe me, but I tell them scales are the utmost important. It's in jazz. Knowing your scales, major, minors, diminished, augmented, augmented um, all of them. <laughs> as many scales as you can know. Anyway, thank you for watching with me, guys. Kopi Monokopi. I'm hoping and praying this video won't get blocked, um, but I always have my coffee. And I'm going to do another react to, um, you know, some, for the Leapers maybe today also for tomorrow. So. Thank you guys again, and Kofi Monokopi, everybody have a great day, and um, again, I teach saxophone, flute, and piano, and my name's Jennifer Valiquette, and um, thank you for coming to my page. It's really fun talking to you guys, and any saxophone players out there, feel, feel free to add to it, um, and you can disagree with me about stuff too. That's fine, um, as long as it's friendly. <laughs> anyway, thank you again. Um, thanks.